Welcome to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast, where we share tips, techniques, and true stories to support you in using the law of attraction and alchemy to create magic and live the life of your dreams. Here's your host, the founder of DailyAlchemy.com, Michelle Martin Dobbins. Hi, it's Michelle Martin Dobbins from DailyAlchemy.com. And today I want to talk to you about what happens when your subconscious pops through and starts to show. I recently had an experience where I was having a kind of a down day and I was talking to my husband and all these things came out of my mouth. And I was like, where did this come from? I was like, this is too hard. I can't do it. I'm just going to quit doing this. This is not, you know, I'm not maybe. And I was like, wait a minute. I am constantly feeding my mind positive thoughts and meditating and focusing on what I want. And all of a sudden, all this negativity just came out of my mouth. And I was like, Ooh, what? what's going on here? And I realized that some of my subconscious was coming right out. And that is a wonderful thing, right? Because if we're unaware of beliefs that we're holding, it's really hard to change them. Awareness, once you shine that light on it, it doesn't necessarily make the belief go away, but it sure makes it a whole lot easier because if they're in our unconscious mind, in our subconscious mind, and we don't know that we're holding those beliefs, then it's kind of hard to change because you're not even thinking that you need to change or knowing that being aware that you have it. And even when we've been on a spiritual path for a long time and we've worked on growth, there are usually still some beliefs back there that are not serving us. And it's wonderful when they come out like that. So if you find yourself doing what I did and having words come out of your mind that you didn't even think that you were thinking that aren't so positive, get excited. (laughs) It's a good thing. And write them down. Write down what came out of your mouth. And then I'm going to tell you some steps that you can work on getting rid of them. But if you're saying, well, that hasn't really happened to me, but I know that there are beliefs that I need to let go of that aren't serving me. The quickest way to find them is to look at your life and look at what is not the way you want it to be and which is not the thing that we normally want to look at. Or look at your life and think if you were an outsider, what must this person believe to create this life? Because even if you're giving yourself positive, let's say financial thoughts and mantras, and you spend time visualizing yourself, feeling abundant, being abundant, having all the money you need, but in the current reality, you don't have that yet, then either one of two things are occurring. One, you're changing that belief, but there's still a buffer of time that takes place before your outside world changes. Or two, you're still holding some beliefs around money. So you might want to sit and investigate, like, what would I think this person must believe to create this reality? Maybe they believe that it's hard to make money or I can never make more money than I'm making now or whatever. You have to sit and take some time and go through those beliefs and write down what you think are the beliefs that you see that are manifesting in your life. So once you've done that, you've done really the hardest part because a lot of times we have blind spots to our own beliefs. And if you have a good friend, you guys can sit and chat with each other and say, well, if from what I see in your life, I would think that you might be holding this belief, but you have to have the right friend (laughs) to do that with. So if you have someone that can help you point out blind spots, also a life coach or a spiritual coach is really good for that because they can see things that you can't see. But it's always great and easy just to start with what you can see. And then if you get to a point where you can't see anymore and nothing is popping out of your mouth or your thoughts that that's showing you your beliefs, you may want to consider working with someone to help you find those blind spots, be it a friend or a coach. But once you've got these beliefs and you know, I'm holding this belief. So say you're holding a belief. This is, I'm not good enough. I can't do whatever because I'm not good enough. That's a really common belief. A lot of people have that self-doubt belief. So 
first thing that I would ask you to do is know that being aware of that belief is like the hardest part. Then intend to let it go. Intention is a big, big thing. So then one of the things I do after I formally have set that intention to let it go, when I'm doing my meditation, I'll do a visualization. And this is something you can do in any way that feels good to you. And if it doesn't, you can skip this. But I ask for help in letting it go. I will ask my angels. I will ask ascended masters or God or my even my higher self to help me to let go and release any beliefs that are no longer serving me. And I thank the beliefs because at one time they served me and I wouldn't have developed them if I didn't think that they were keeping me safe. So I thank them for serving me and let them know that I no longer need to believe them, that it's safe for me not to believe them. And sometimes I will visualize a violet flame burning away those beliefs until they are gone and transmuted from my mind, body, soul, spirit, (laughs) the whole thing, you know, and if that's not a comfortable thing for you, you don't have to do that, but you can visualize seeing the belief on a blackboard and just erasing it with an eraser or something like that. Some kind of visualization that helps you connect with letting go of that belief. And then what I work on is writing a mantra or an affirmation that is the opposite of that belief. So if the belief is, I am not good enough, I may do something like, I am worthy. And you can add on to it if you're like, I'm not good enough to be a published author, then you can do, I am worthy of being a published author. Do the mantra that is the opposite. And then practice that mantra as you're going throughout your day. And in time... (laughs) Usually pretty quickly, once you've put that attention to it, you will be able to let go of that belief and create a new belief. And you'll see that over time. But don't worry if you're still seeing evidence of the old belief, because it does take some time for things to shift and for things to show up in our real life. But give this a try. Let me know how it works for you. And You can always find me on dailyalchemy.com. If you have any questions, comments, or stories you would like to share, I would love to hear them. You can email me. You can send me a message on Facebook or Twitter or any other social media outlets that you can find. All of my links are up there on dailyalchemy.com. So go out, enjoy the journey today, create some magic, and I will see you next time. Namaste and big hugs. Hey guys, the Magical Life Manifesting Club is temporarily closed to new members right now. I am revamping and revising and adding all sorts of sparkly new stuff, and it will be opening back up in May. But right now, I've got some fun freebies for you to play with while you're waiting for the club to open back up. You can get a free weekly manifesting planner and daily manifesting planner that you can use depending on what type you prefer. Also, there is a magical lunar planner, an angel assignment planner, money tracker to watch your money manifest and grow, a daily love list PDF, and a revamp your vibe in five minutes e-kit. And all of these are available free on Daily Alchemy. So to get to them, you can either go to dailyalchemy.com and scroll down till you see the button that says freebies and it will take you to the page where you can sign up to get these. Or you can also put dailyalchemy.com slash magical freebie vault and there is a link in the show notes. So go on over and pick those up and let me know how they work for you. Namaste. Thanks for listening to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast. Connect with me on the dailyalchemy.com or Facebook at facebook.com slash Michelle Dobbins author. Join us next time for even more magical life tips.